Let's talk about slope. Here you can see a mountain slope. It's pretty steep, huh? In algebra, slope is the steepness of a line, also known as rate of change. The slope can be positive when it's going up or negative as it goes down. Let's look at a real world situation in which we will find the slope. Jennifer made $60 to babysit for four hours on Friday night. She made $90 to babysit for six hours on Saturday night. We're gonna find the rate of change or slope, we're gonna fill out a table, and we're gonna graph the situation because there are many ways to find slope. Here I'm highlighting the important parts about what Jennifer makes for babysitting. The reason I'm highlighting this is because slope, like we said, is a rate. A rate is a comparison. The question is, what are we comparing in this problem? Well, we're looking at how much money she's making compared to how many hours she worked. Let's think about the amount of money we make will be dependent on how many hours we work. Therefore, the hours that we work are independent. We need to know this because we need to know that independent variables are always x and dependent variables are always y. So now when you think about the change along the x-axis, we will call that the change in x, or the hours she worked. The change along the y-axis is represented by the amount of money she makes. Hours are independent and the money is dependent. We can create two ratios $60 to 4 hours and $90 for 6 hours from the word problem. This shows the change. You can see both her change in hours and the change in money. Now we're going to transfer that into ordered pairs. The ordered pairs were 4 and 60 and 6 and 90. We know ordered pairs mean x, y and we can label the first set the ones and the second set twos because now we can take the slope formula to find the actual slope. So we know it's 90 minus 60, that is the change in y, and 6 minus 4, that is the change in x, just like the last picture. This will give us 30 over 2. Put that in simplest form and get 15 over 1. Yes, that's equal to 15, but we want to keep it in that ratio format, $15 to 1 hour. With that data, we can fill out the table. We know one hour is $15. The problem itself said four hours would be $60, and that six hours was $90. Thinking about one hour for 15, we could do two and 30. And then of course, if she doesn't work at all, she's not gonna make anything. Now that we have a table, we can do our graph and we can show the steepness or the slope of this line. We're gonna go ahead and graph the points that we were given. We're gonna go over to four hours and up to 60. And we're gonna then go over to six hours and go up to 90. We can show this linearly. And now I'm gonna show you the right triangles we're building. We went over four and up 60. Then we went over two and up 30 more. Both of those are right triangles. I'm going to use that information to create ratios. We are given a change in y of 60 over a change in x4. Simplified, it's 15 over 1. And 30 over 2 is also 15 over 1. So our change in y over our change in x is the slope, which is 15 over 1. Now you can take the time to create your own notes.